the back rooms. You've been here before. Phenomenon number 12, Botanic Cancer. Effect level, four. Short duration, low frequency, irreversible impact. Type, transforming. Description. Phenomenon 12, commonly known as Botanic Cancer, happens in areas where man-made construction takes up more space than the original buildings and local flora, which is the main reason why there is hardly any large base or settlement in non-architectural areas. Botanic cancer can affect both inner structures and outer walls of construction, wildly growing a variety of plants at an alarming rate, which will quickly cover every inch of the affected building and eventually replace every concrete or brick with roots and vines. During the early stages of botanic cancer, hundreds of green shoots crawl out of the wall of worms. Then, in a few minutes, leaves, buds, sprouts, and flowers bloom immediately after they appear. The overwhelming growth of plants continuing. Leaves grow much wider and blossoms expand much longer than regular plants. It all happens within less than an hour. When the aggressive flora reaches a certain size, its growth slows down, leaving the building fully covered by toxic leaves and blossoms. If the people are not evacuated in time, they will be trapped by these plants. In the next few days, their destruction continues until the whole structure is completely ruined. Image Caption Phenomenon 12 after happening a few minutes ago shot by the owner of the house. The diseased construction usually collapses in a few days, leaving contagious plants spreading throughout the neighborhood. The only way to prevent their spread is to burn the remains as soon as possible. Once the vines reach another building, the same disaster happens all over again, and there is no way to stop botanic cancer in the middle of its attack. However, since most of the plants have lost their energy then, it is less dangerous to take care of them. It is unadvisable to approach those cancerous plants during the attack, not to mention to exterminate them. In fact, those plants always try to grasp any object they can reach to expand their territory as much as possible. If caught, vines will wind around wanderers' bodies and drag them into the twirling plant complex. Flora. Phenomenon 12 happens with various kinds of plants growing, most of which resemble but differ from those in the front rooms. They are harmful in many ways. Beeston Ivy. Beeston Ivy is the most common cancerous plant, making up the body of the botanic cancer flora. Like Boston Ivy, it is a woody vine with huge leaves, attaching itself to things like walls. But, differently and more violently, it is naturally drawn to any object that can be wound up by it. Its unbelievable strength and growing speed makes it almost impossible to escape once caught by it. Those who are not careful will be made a part of the flora in a non-human way. Cyrus. Cyrus, initially named Silencing Iris, is a kind of flower commonly seen during a botanic cancer attack. It is believed to be capable of blocking certain types of information. The most obvious situation it leads to is that wanderers fail to hear sound in the surroundings. When near a Cyrus, it absorbs many kinds of waves in the air, excluding most of the electromagnetic waves, like visible light. These cyruses can somehow affect brain waves, making wanderers nearby stop thinking from time to time. With one's mind blank, it is much harder to escape from the disaster. Morning Glory As the name suggests, Morning Glory mourns for wanderers' death, or, to be more accurate, feeds on their death. They immediately appear after someone is dragged into the complex of plants and then quickly decompose their bodies to imbibe nutrients from them. Great Burster 
Great Burster refers to the entirety of roots inside walls of an infected construction. Contrary to common senses, these roots are not part of a plant that convey water and nutrients, but an individual plant that grows as fast as beastin ivy does, squeezing and bursting structures from the inside. Human Infection Some of those exposed to botanic cancer flora and who are lucky enough to escape from it have come down with a strange disease which is likely to be an infection from buildings to humans. To make a distinction, this disease is named human botanical cancer, often abbreviated to HBC. The pathogenesis, the way HBC develops, is related to the extremely resilient seeds of botanic cancer flora. It seems that those seeds can normally grow inside human bodies, slowly and painfully tearing apart one's organs and tissues. Notes taken by Dr. Elliot K. Miller, MD, from the Meg, on symptoms of an HBC patient he treated. Less than an hour after being infected, the patient claims to suffer from headache, stomach ache, and belly ache. According to his description, he constantly feels his limbs and chest swelling from inside, and something squeezing their veins and organs. It causes slight but long-lasting pain. After four to seven hours, he starts to have trouble breathing, talking, and swallowing. A few stems and leaves stretch out from his mouth, anus, ears, nose, and even eye holes. Some shoots sprout in the pores of his skin. I've never seen any symptom like this before. It's mind-blowing and horrible to look at. I have to find out what it is. After seven to ten hours, leaves have covered his whole body. I heard a continual weak noise. The poor guy is screaming out of pain, but could barely utter a sound. It's getting worse, and I couldn't find a cure for this. After ten to fifteen hours, it's both a miracle and a disaster that he's still alive. I could hardly tell that he's an actual human being. Roots tightly gripping the ground, he's now a completely lost the ability to move. A tree, that's what he became. After 15 to 19 hours, I thought he had become a tree, but it's just not that simple. He's still breathing, I can see it, the heartbeat. He literally got every space in his poor body stuffed with plants. My goodness, what horrible pain. I have to do something right now. After 19 to 22 hours, simply cutting off the stems and leaves did not help. They grow so fast that it's impossible to conduct any operation. His breathing was weakened. The last time I checked on him, his body is already cold and dead. I'm more than sorry. Image caption, diseased road, the plants have been removed. Cause. Unfortunately, Phenomenon 12 is rather unpredictable, unstoppable, and irreversible. The cause of this phenomenon remains debatable, with the most accepted statement being the defense of the backrooms. Oddly enough, botanic cancer only infects construction built by wanderers, while what consists in the backrooms long before human beings set foot here is free of its threat which many people believe is the way the backrooms itself expels those who do not belong, which is us. A speech delivered at Meg Base Alpha by Dr. Elliot K. Miller after his two-year-long battle with botanic cancer. The humans, the plague of backrooms, are cursed with deadly euphoria spied on by avatars of darkness. Trapped in hells where homesickness can never be cured, now that our hard-won sanctuary is once again shown on mercy to, we give in to the backroom's absolute might, which we wouldn't e even dare to fight against. We crawl back to the endless city, a home backrooms arranged uh, for us, sharing a place with creatures we fear, living under thumbs of a selfish god. It is a perfect clone of front rooms, but nothing like home. Our existence is detested. Our search for home is unpromising. Our shelters are torn apart. 
our lives are at the risk of being taken away by unexpected attacks of literally any goddamn thing. Despite our misery, the backrooms itself stays perfectly unchanged. The marching vines and roots, their cure yet our disease. Forthwith wreck, what's entheric to them? On days like this, when we fail to find our way of hell over and over, the birds are still singing and flowers keep blooming, silently killing hopes of humanity. We come here with plagues. They treat us with cancer. Fair enough, fair enough. Note, the deadly euphoria in this speech refers to Phenomenon 3, the happy dance, and the Avatars of Darkness refers to Entity 3, the Smilers. Do's and don'ts. Do. Seek shelters in levels like level 11, where original construction can provide accommodations. Burn the remains immediately after Botanicancer finishes its attack. Leave the buildings when Botanicancer occurs. Keep constructions at a reasonable size. Don't. Stay in buildings infected by Botanicancer. Touch any part of a cancerous plant. Build large-scale architectural complexes.